Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with Transfer Protocol. I'm so excited to be recording this video for you guys. Um, I wanna thank you guys first and foremost for everybody who's watching this video. Um, if you could please do me a huge favor if you guys could like uh, this video and go ahead and share this with somebody else who needs some prophetic uh, encouragement, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Yesterday I released a word where um, we mentioned or we spoke um, within three days that you will cross over. And I wanted to do what um, prophetically responsible and and come on here and give you guys some more instructions and strategies as to how to cross over um how to step in the fullness of what god has for you so that you all receive it and you receive it in a in a timely uh, manner um I, I know that a lot of times we will hear um people release prophetic words but then they won't come back and actually give you strategy on how to live out the word so i want to make sure that I'm doing my part uh, to do that um, effectively for you guys here today. So again, like I said, uh, thank you guys so much. And I, I'm going to get out of the sun's like, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so right now we're picking up basically in Joshua 3. Yesterday, we, we talked about within three days that you would cross over. Um, but there are certain things that you have to do um, to receive and to walk in the fullness of your crossover experience. So um, number one, um, we see here in the beginning of Joshua 3 that as the Lord has already promised them the victory um, about about taking the land um, in Joshua uh, 3 and 1 we see that Joshua and the people they actually go to the promised land they go to go down to Jordan they go and they follow the instructions of the Lord many of you guys who are expecting uh, things from God in 2022 God is already giving you um, specific instructions on things to do um and for whatever reason um maybe you don't trust god maybe you don't believe, see how it's possible for god to resurrect that situation um for whatever reason you have not followed through on the actual instructions that god has given you so um i'm i'm going to encourage you i know we have christmas tomorrow um i know that the end of the year um is approaching some of you guys are going to um be uh insistent upon um putting some of these some of these things off that the lord has already asked you to do or or told you to do um i'm going to um, encourage you as a brother um in christ that if you want to step in the fullness of it whatever god has already instructed you to do um go ahead and step out in faith and begin at least get it started get it started um i know some of these projects maybe you won't have time to complete them but just go ahead and step out in faith and just get it started. Um, I don't want you to see you guys miss out. So as the people um, and Joshua got down to Jordan, um, the, uh, Joshua began to give them instructions on what to do. Um, one of those instructions was about staying a specific um, distance away from the Ark of the Covenant. Um, and this was because um, God is take, was taking them to a place that they had never been before. So to get what God has for you um, in this season, you're going to have to do some things that you've never done before. And because you've never been to this place before, uh, a land that's flowing with milk and honey, you're going to have to stay connected to God. You're going to have to make sure that you keep your eyes on God. This is going to be the first and foremost thing um, right now and also into 2023 um, some of you guys are going to places new spaces new territories that you can't fathom or even believe to conceive that are possible god is going to take you there but the only way that he's going to take you there is by you being connected to him by you staying close to him by you being able to see where he's moving to and how he's moving so stay connected um, to god and as Joshua began to give um, the instruction, then the Lord spoke. So as, as we obey the instructions of the Lord, uh, then we give God the opportunity to speak. Um, we, we see so many times, like I've, I've, I've stressed this so much on this channel, that God is not a wasteful God. God is very much um, concerned with the details of our life. God is very much concerned um, with us not wasting opportunity and not wasting time. So 
we see that God speaks after the instructions were followed and the, the instructions were given to the people. So I'm on here to, to make sure that I'm giving you guys as many instructions as you can uh, receive so that you guys walk in this fullness. Um, now, after, uh, as God began to speak, one of the things that God did uh, do immediately as he spoke is he began to um, speak blessings and promises to Joshua. Um, and he says that, um, and this day um, I will begin to magnify thee um, in uh, the sight of Israel. And I think this is incredible to unpack as well. I believe right now, um, the only reason why we're on here, the only reason why we're going to experience the fullness and the glory of God um, is for only one specific reason. Um, and that's for God's glory uh, to be made manifest. Um, I believe uh, it's uh, Joshua 3 and 7 um, where God is telling him this, um, that I'm going to magnify you, fly you um, in the sight of Israel. And this is so that the people will know just as I was with Moses, that I'm with you. Um, so as we walk into 2023, um, as we walk in and we cross over into our promised land, the reason for us crossing over into the promised land is this is going to be a sign and a token that God is with us. Um, we're going to physically um, be manifestations of the glory of God. Um, and that's going to touch every area of our lives. So um, one thing that I want to un unpack um, even more specifically in that um, specific verse is um, when the Lord says, I will magnify you. Um, the word magnify, we look it up um, in the Hebrew. Um, it talks about making you great, um, making your name great, uh, making you famous, um, that God will make you do great things. And um, one thing that I, or like that I got from the Holy Spirit is um, this thing about being made great, um, it can be conditional. Um, God doesn't force us to do things. So when, when it says that um, God will make you to do great things, God will literally take the things that you will do and make them great. And I think sometimes that's why we downplay um, a lot of the things that God has already magnified us in. Uh, some of you guys are, are holding on to gifts, um, talents, um, and things that God has already blessed you with and God wants to magnify you um, through, but because you can't see how this thing is an asset or how this thing um, is a blessing from God, you don't respect the gift that you already have. So I want you guys um, to let the Holy Spirit put his finger on things that are areas that God is going to magnify you in, um, with skill sets that he's going to magnify you in. Um, and then um, another thing that we want to unpack is God, will, God said that I will magnify you in the sight of Israel. Um, and when we look at um, the Hebrew uh, translation of the word Israel, um, it, it, the first translation is actually means uh, the place where God prevails. So God is going to magnify you in a place where he prevails. So um, in this land of promise, in this land of, of opportunity, um, you're going to be in a place where God is going to prevail. God is going to prevail in your, in your life. God is going to prevail in your finances. God is going to prevail um, in your relationships. God is going to re, uh, prevail in your mental health. God is going to uh, prevail in every aspect of your life um, if you allow him and you follow the instructions that God is giving you. So um, I, I, I just I just want to make sure that I'm on here, that I'm challenging you, that I'm pushing you, that I'm, I'm, I'm speaking into your life. Um, God is going to make your name great. God is going to allow the gifts that he's placing inside of you um, to be made manifest. And again, I know some of us come on here and we're thinking about wealth transfer and this, this topic is a very um, interesting topic to talk about. A lot of people talk about specific investments, um, opportunities. But again, like I've, I've been saying for months, I believe the true area where God is going to bless you most financially um, is in an area where you're going to use the spiritual gifts that God has given you. And he's going to allow you those things uh, to bring you attention, uh, to bring you fame, to bring you partnerships, um, to bring you relationships, uh, to bring you uh, witty inventions and business ideas, um, to, to bring you influence um, in the marketplace, um, in influence and favor in the heart of men. 
um, all these things are going to follow you um, as you continue to step out in faith. So um, I, I'm just I'm just so excited for what God is going to be doing. I'm so excited for um, this word. Um, and, and, and again, as we see in three and seven, it says that this thing will begin today. So um, I'm just going to um, speak and and I hope that you guys will attach your faith uh, to this word. Um, as we begin to to allow the Lord to start working on our favor, um, even today. So um, I just want to encourage you, go ahead and like this video, share this video with someone who can uh, use this. And again, if you um, feel led, um, I want you guys, some of you guys are going to 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 attach your faith uh, to this word, uh, to Joshua 3 and 7. Some of you guys are going to uh, sow um, in the increments um, of three and seven, uh, maybe it's three dollars and seventy cents. Maybe it's thirty-seven dollars. Maybe it's three hundred and seventy dollars. Maybe it's three thousand seven hundred dollars. Who knows? Um, um, obviously, I'm not going to tell you to do a specific amount. But again, if you want to attach your faith to this word and begin to walk um, in the fullness of the manifestation that's going to begin in some of you guys today, um, go ahead as an act of faith um, and do that. All the information is going to be below. I'm so excited for what God is doing. Um, I hope that you and your family have a Merry Christmas. Um, I can't wait to see the gifts that God is going to give you um, over these next few days. Make sure that you're following instructions. I don't want anybody to come back and say that, you know, Ryan's words fell to the ground. Uh, Ryan, you know, um, didn't hear this thing clearly. There are instructions that you need to follow, but obviously you have to get those from the Lord. Um, so make sure you're doing your part and watch this thing manifest in your life. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you and bye-bye.